J.J. Thompson, the man who discovered the electron. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Memorandum. Today, we'll take a journey into the life of a man who forever changed our understanding of the universe, Sir Joseph John Thompson, or simply J.J. Thompson. He was born in 1856 in Manchester, England. Coming from a modest family, Thompson's early life was not filled with wealth or privilege. But from a young age, he showed an unusual curiosity about how the world worked. At just 14 years old, Thompson entered Owens College, a sign of his extraordinary talent and determination. While most teenagers were still learning basic subjects, he was already advancing in mathematics and physics. By the age of 28, he became a professor at Cambridge University. Imagine that, teaching at one of the world's most prestigious universities before even turning 30. His greatest contribution came in 1897 when he discovered the electron. Before this, scientists believed the atom was indivisible, the smallest possible unit of matter. Thompson's experiments proved otherwise. He introduced the plum pudding model of the atom, suggesting electrons were scattered inside like raisins in a pudding. Although later replaced by new models, this was a crucial step in moving science forward. And here's something inspiring, friends. Many of his students went on to become Nobel Prize winners themselves. The impact of J.J. Thompson's work was enormous. His discovery of the electron laid the foundation for modern physics and technology. From smartphones to computers, from medical imaging to energy research. But here's the lesson for us, friends. Thompson's first atomic model wasn't perfect. It was eventually proven wrong. Yet without it, science might never have advanced the way it did. His story reminds us that failure is not the end. Every mistake is a step forward. Every setback, a chance to learn. Don't be afraid to failing. It may be the very path that leads you to your greatest achievement. Thank you for listening to today's episode of Memorandum. If you enjoyed this story, don't forget to follow and subscribe to Nefertiti. See you then, friends.